Hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome uh, to today's session. I think today uh, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is artificial intelligence, or in other words, AI, or a word, a buzzword that have been we have been hearing for a long time, that is called generative AI, and how uh, AI, machine learning, generative AI, is linked to the telco side, uh, how the telco uh, world is responding to uh, the opportunities that generative AI or AI presents to itself. So I think today uh, the start of another series that I will be working on is how uh, generative AI or AI is being developed into the telco world and how the AI side of the technology is being integrated into the telco side, uh, particularly RAN. And we will also talk about an alliance uh, group that has been formed this year to work on the AI related specifics. So, in as a first, let's quickly see what is actually uh, AI or generative AI. So, in in simple words, generative AI is actually uh, you can say a machine learning based uh, algorithm which can actually produce uh, stuff like sentences, language code images based on uh, the models that it has been trained on so it's basically called a large llm llm is basically your large language models so what happens is that we have a machine learning model so you can say it's model and this model is actually trained based on unstructured data and a lot of data so you're talking about terabytes of data this model is trained onto and then in the output what happens is that if you want for example if you want to make a sentence the weather today is very so the last part of the sentence can be generated by this LLM model based on a large amount of data that is fed into this model and as i said that this model is fed with unstructured data so this is the basis of uh, AI, uh, or you can say generative AI. And then generative AI basically means that you generate based on this modeling of this uh, data. You can generate words, you can generate codes, you can generate images. And that's why we are using this buzzword generative AI based on your chat GPT models. So in today's world, you can generate code, you can generate a lot of images giving some information to the AI model and it can give you that, uh, that data. So once we have developed the context of generative AI, so now we know that generative AI means generating a lot of new information or you can say based on these models. Now, how does AI or generative AI presents challenges and opportunities to the telco site? So if we talk about the telco sites, there are three things that are very important. First one is operations. Second thing is your performance. The third thing is user experience. So in the first part is the operations part. So what the telco vendors, operators and the AI side companies like NVIDIA, and other companies are up, uh, imagining at the moment is that there will be a huge role of AI in the coming years as far as the operational efficiency is concerned. So what about operational efficiency based on AI? So for example, uh, using the AI trained models, you can predict uh, the fault spots in your network. For example, you can ask your AI model based on the, uh, as your model has been based or trained on the data of your own network, it can tell you that where you might expect faults, where you might expect problems, and then your operational uh, efficiency can be a bit more preemptive rather than reactive. Secondly, it can also uh, tell you uh, where you might have uh, capacity constraints, where you might have coverage constraints, and etc. and etc. So, the operational efficiency is one area where AI uh, might help, and it will also reduce the dependency on people actually visualizing that data. Instead, AI can be trained on that model and then fed the new uh, data from the network and then AI can give you the 
you give you the results based on what actions need to be performed by the operations team. Second is performance, and we will discuss more about performance as we move ahead uh, in terms of the AI RAN Alliance. Performance is that based on the AI machine learning models, you can actually predict, you can actually generate the tuned parameters, the tuned values of your software and hardware so that you can get the optimal performance from your hardware and software. And this is a very, very uh, big area where if we can get the AI to work properly based on how we train it, this can be a game changer. So we can uh, basically optimize a network based on our AI models. Of course, uh, they would be uh, in the end a sanity check by the, uh, by, the, uh, by the tech leads. But in terms of optimizing a large data set, optimizing large networks, AI can be AI can prove uh, very beneficial, and some of the vendors and operators are already doing some uh, joint uh, collabs in this stage. The third thing is UX, you, your user experience. So once we are moving into the field of generative AI, you will see there will be a huge amount of uh, data explosion is expected in terms of images, video streams, uh, codes, and etc. and etc. So uh, the telcos are looking towards the industry to see that how generative AI can actually enhance your user experience. So how these AI models can tap into your uh, telco networks and then enhance what the users are experiencing right now. That can be in terms of streaming, that can be in terms of the images they are sharing, et cetera, and et cetera. So it's kind of a convergence between AI, your social media platforms, the streaming platforms and the network and the hardware and the software that your telco net networks provide. So these are the three areas that might be very important. The next thing comes as the AI RAN. So you might have heard about uh, AI RAN, but it's a new alliance. Uh, it's called AI RAN Alliance, and it was initially formed by T-Mobile uh, and Rickson, Nokia and uh, Nvidia. It's an alliance where all of these players uh, came together and they want to envision a 5G network where it enhances the capability of that 5G network, network using AI trained models. So AI will be used as uh, a tool to improve the performance of your extremely uh, capable 5G networks. Also AI will be used to enhance the operational efficiency of that RAN network. And thirdly, and the most important part is the convergence between cloud, AI and 5G. This is what I think will be the future of uh, AI, 5G and cloud together. That in this alliance, they're also talking about how to interface this power of AI into the cloud-based RAN network. And also, uh, telcos are working with the, the cloud, talking, talking with the AIs and talking with the telco vendors how to transform AI-based services as a service on a platform. So what you can do is that everybody, instead of having their own AI platforms or training, training their own models or using processing capabilities, AI can be offered as a platform. AI can be offered as a service by these telcos. And this in, in turn will generate a lot of traffic, a lot of revenue, and a lot of usage for these 5G advanced networks. So, I think in terms of generative AI, machine learning, 5G, the future lies in your cloud networks, providing a platform based on uh, AI and also providing AI as a service. So I would, uh, in my own uh, areas of interest, this is something that I will focus on in terms of AI, cloud and 5G. Hope you uh, like this video and hope we carry on uh, this uh, journey of artificial intelligence, generative AI, machine learning, 5G, and the cloud. Thank you so much, and please subscribe to the channel and do share this video. Thank you so much, see you next time.